Hi, this is just a quick tutorial on how to uh, download and install the E4K custom bitrate um, hack uh, that's available. Um, first of all, you need to go to uh, Internet Explorer and um, go to the Dashcam Talk um, forum. Uh, I'll put the link in the description um, of the uh, of the video so you can uh, link from there. Um, Big thanks to uh, Iram Gentu, um, who's um, who's managed to um, figure out how to do this and um, uh, has kindly uh, given instructions and loaded it onto GitHub uh, um, for uh, other people to use. So um, thank you. Um, so once you're this uh, Dashcam Talk um, site, then um, He's um, he's put a link on there to to GitHub. So if we can just click on that, it should go through. Uh, it takes us to his um, GitHub uh, page. Um, there's quite a few bits and pieces on there. Um, there's a bit about um, being able to uh, change the uh, ultra, um, the 4K ultra mode to to be 4000 bit. To 700 by the looks of it, um, which is um, a 4.3 um, ultra view 4.3, um, which um, is useful for people with drones, and, uh, FPV flying, and things like that. Um, have a good read around it. Um, there might be something in there that um, that, that you like, but um, the, the the main thing is uh, for this is just to, to show you how. Um, how it works uh, and how you install it. So, uh, first of all, we'll just open this bitrate uh, bit rate table um, at, the, at the bottom. Um, okay, so it gives you instructions how to set your custom bit rates. So, um, the command is uh, is this one here, which is write w, um, and then it's a, a memory address followed by another memory address. Um, this, so the right W is the command. Uh, this first memory address, if we look down here, is the um, is the address of the resolution mode that you want. So, for example, if you want 3840 by 2160, um, 30 frames a second, uh, then it uh, the address. Um, that you have to put in to refer to that uh, that resolution is this 0xA061AFFE, um, which is obviously what he's got up there. Um, and then the second memory address is the actual um, megabytes per second uh, setting that you want to set that mode to. So 0x42AC, if we look in this list here, um, 0x42 AC is 90 megabytes per second, uh, sorry, megabits per second. So um, finding so far that um, 90 is about the limit that, uh, that that I can go to and also the guy that, um, that did this can go to. Um, once you start going beyond that, it still works, but it comes up with a, uh, a slow card message. Um, does seem to continue working when you get the slow card message, um, but um, sometimes it seems to split the um, when when the message comes up, it seems to split the video onto another video. Um, so it's 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 not ideal, and uh, really you you don't want to be messing about with that. So um, these megabytes per second, uh, megabits per second, are going to be dependent on your um, SD card in in the E4K camera. So um, I've only got a class 10 um, uh, card, which is a, a V10. Um, so, um, so I, I'm, I'm real, realistically not going to get beyond 90 megabits per second. Um, uh, if you've got a U3 card, it might be worthwhile uh, checking um, right up to uh, the 150 megabit per second that, that's quoted on here. Um, I did find when I, if I go to the 150, um, it, it just instant as soon as I started it, it froze the camera up and then it, it rebooted. So um, just wait, way too much information for for that. 
Um, so, so that's how you, you make these right W's. Um, but how do you how do you implement that? How do you put that into uh, into the camera? So um, if we close that window and go back to his main page. So what he what he's done is he's uh, giving you a um, a copy of his uh, my auto exec uh, dot ash um, file. So if we click on there, um, and this is the 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 file that he uses um, it it does all the bit rates but it also adds this 4000 bit 2700 uh, in the 4k ultra mod so instead of you getting a 69 um, in, in if you go into ultra 4k instead of getting a 16 uh, 69 ratio um, uh, super view you will get a um, a 4.3 super view at 4000 by 2700 so um, if you don't want that then you can just comment those lines out of his auto uh, exec dot ash so uh, if we go in we'll have a look so this is the file that he's got so anything that starts with an ash is a comment um, so the first two are comments and it's important it's only for firmware 1.40. I'm not sure whether he's tested it on earlier firmwares, but um, things like memory addresses change um, each time they, that you release a, um, a firmware. So um, it'll work for 1.4, but when the next one comes out, it'll probably not work and you'll have to update it again um, once, once you know what, what, what the memory addresses are. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to dig out those memory addresses for everybody. Um, so yeah, so the first four lines are all um, uh, are, are, are just comments, but the, the, it's important to know the way that U4, U4K works is that um, there's two in on the camera. There's a quality setting um, under video, and the, um, it's set to um, uh, high, uh, I think it's high or uh, high and medium. Um, yeah, high quality and medium quality. Um, so, literally, this file has an entry for each one. So it has an entry for the high quality, uh, and it has an entry for the low quality. And each one of these, so the high quality one has a memory, a different memory address to the medium quality. So obviously, zero X A. Uh, 061 AFFE is 4K 30p, which is listed there in high quality, and 0A, uh, 0XA 061B00E is 4K 30p in um, medium quality. And then he's got the same for um, Ultra 24p. 2.7k 60p so on and so forth so the first one is your high quality your second one is your uh, medium quality and he's done it for uh, mo not all of the resolutions but for most of the useful ones anyway um, so uh, those are the addresses that refer to the resolution and these are the addresses that uh, he's setting um, so if I just uh, go back and open up that bitrate table again, right? So, um, so if you look at uh, this first one, he's got zero x a zero six one a f f e, and that's um, is that one there, which is three eight forty uh, be two one sixty at thirty p. Um, and he's setting it to 0x42ac and 0x42ac is uh, 0x42ac is 90 megabits per uh, megabits per second okay so that's that's how it works so um, so this file you can just take this file and put it into your camera um, but you will get as he said up here on line three, 90 megabits per second in high quality and 60 megabits per second in um, in medium. If you wanted to change that, then uh, if it was for 4K, high quality 4K uh, 30p, then you, all you do is replace this 0x42ac um, with whatever um, 
setting you want. So if you wanted to put it to 120 megabits, you replace the 0x42AC with 0x42E8. Okay, so, so that's um, that's how you you edit it anyway. So if we close that. Okay, so that that's the file that we need to copy on there. Now the problem is with this file is is that it's um, if you've got a PC, then um, the, the PC editor will will convert it to um, so Notepad will convert it to to MS DOS or to, to Windows format, and it needs to be in a, in a Unix format. So so the way to do that is to um, right click on this uh, raw button and do save target as. Okay, so when you've done save target target as it comes up and if you look it says auto exec dot ash um, save as type um, ash file okay and then all you do then is point that to your camera and save it into the root of your camera so that this, this H um, is is actually as you can see it's got dsim and everything that's actually the root of mine so you just click save and then mine already exists so you would just do replace um i'll do it now because mine's already there and then all you do unplug your camera um switch it off switch it back on and it should it should work it should, um uh, based upon the modes that you set there they should should be um set up um the way to check whether it's worked is pretty straightforward um is just go into a into the videos that you've recorded under it and um, you just right click on a video and then do properties um, uh, do details and it should in here give you the data rate and the total bit rate and that should be uh, this is obviously um, uh, one do not done on, on the updated, but that should say if you've done 90, that should be up in the 80s or 90s, uh, depending because uh, it's a variable bit rate. So, um, so yeah, that's how it works. So.